Welcome to Murphy's Diesel. I'm Wrecker Rick. This is my main man, Rod. Say hi, Rod. Hi, Rod. Saddle up, folks, because we're fixing to go on one wild ride as we spend four days in Sand Hollow State Park in Utah, where the Matt's off-road games are being held. We face some serious challenges, like getting our 80,000-pound rotator we call war machine stuck in the deep sand. We also got the opportunity to go wheeling with the boys at Yankum. That's not all. I'm gonna take you through the highs and lows of breaking and fixing our off-road wrecker Hellboy. We also had the opportunity to meet the boys at Sparks Motors and go head to head in an all out war. I'm talking tug war, complete clash of the titan between Hellboy and the infamous Brodozer. Brodozer is a built Ford on massive 54 inch tires. Hellboy is a built Ram on massive 58 inch tires. Sparks flew, tires shredded, and the adrenaline soared as we battled it out for the first place trophy. Despite all of our setbacks, we rallied together, we fixed Hellboy, we went out there, we tore the sand up with some epic Brodies. Along the way, we encountered some off-road recoveries from an Overland Porsche to our 80,000 pound rotator. This is one off-road adventure that you all are not gonna wanna miss. So stand by folks, cause it's fixing to get Western. So we're here at the off-road games and we're getting all set up and Alan flagged the big cheese and said, hey, Matt, can we do something stupid? And Matt said, of course. What we're doing is we got this 80,000 pound, 75 ton rotator that we call War Machine. We got her aired all the way down. And we're gonna put this some buck about 100 yards deep in the sand. It might get Western, you know? Never had a 75 ton rotator in this kind of sand, folks, so. All I can say is I'm gonna hit it in high, see what happens. Right, so we backed war machine up in there and you know it backed in there so easy and Alan was standing there and you know you you hear about this infamous sand at Sand Hollow and we get there I back the rotator in so I'm thinking like oh this thing's just gonna sink so I hit it in high speed and it doesn't so then I'm like Alan I could drive around in this stuff so I pull the truck forward and as soon as I pull it forward, now I'm out of the area that I wanted to be in, and the truck just sinks. You've seen War Machine sink, right? Mm-hmm. Okay, when War Machine sank, like, did you, what do you think? We were, we're not getting that out. <laughs> But anyway, so we were in the wrong spot. So we hooked Hellboy to it and we yanked on it about how many times? Like 20 times. 20, 30 times, folks. I mean, we were just. And that was a good test for Hellboy, actually, so. fixing to do a little off-road tour. I found a couple of weld spots that need to be welded. Uh, we had a solenoid, nitrous solenoid that was bad. So uh, well, I don't know if it was bad or we just hooked it up backwards. Nitrous solenoid backward? Me. We got that fixed. So give the Red Dragon a little bit more juice if you know what I'm talking about. Let's keep that on the down low though. Second day of the off-road games. 
and it's been pretty hectic. Uh, the wind's blown the whole time. Stand by for a little bit of testing on Hellboy. Uh, up in the rocks, so we've ripped it around in the sand, but not much, so stand by, folks. Doing a little welding, folks. Absolutely. Except for it's 10 inches too wide for the legal limit, full hydro steering. So it's not. Nitrous injected. I don't know, I, the list goes on and on, folks. It really does. We're not on pavement, though. Uh, I need to buckle up. <laughs> God, are we gonna make it through here? Oh, I thought they said we couldn't make it through the tunnel. Nonsense. Size tank. I don't see how we're out of fuel. All right, we we out. filled this before we left, right? Doesn't that sound hollow? It, it sounds does sound hollow. hollow. Sounds empty. Yeah, it, it does. Empty. Good job, Trey. Me? Mark filled yeah. it up. Did you, get well Did you fill it, Mark? Yeah, it only took $7 because it was already <laughs> almost plumb full. Are you sure? <laughs> I'm positive. <laughs> I think we filled her up. I got Rod right down there. I can have him. We didn't make it very far. Uh, the old Red Dragon Hellboy ran out of fuel. So Rod's bringing us some fuel. He's gonna stand here. Waiting for fuel. You're doing. What? Feeling bad about yourself because you just ruined her day. I did. I, I did. <laughs> How did I do it? You need to build your truck as like a chase truck. <laughs> we should, we yeah. should just put a we should just put a tank in it. What? Yeah, so there thought. you go, there you are. Excellent. It better be. After we got Hellboy fixed, we went wheeling with Yankum. When we started to go up an incline, the truck just cut off. And we we were already dealing with brake issues with Hellboy. So as soon as we go up this incline, it's actually really steep. The truck just shuts down. Wasn't getting any fuel. Because we were on such a steep incline, I grabbed the shifter and I ripped the shifter off. So then Rod had to back the truck up to the back of Hellboy, gave me a little push and then I got it in gear and away we went. So we actually didn't do any wheeling. We didn't get to do any wheeling with, with Yankum and the boys, so that was excellent. Is that as far as you guys got where I went? Yeah. Is that all? Yeah, that <laughs> was just it. off of yeah, the th parking lot? Yeah, we were literally like 500 yards <laughs> off of the pavement. That's as far as we got.
right, folks, no turning back. better when I get it done. I see yours, you change yours all the time, huh? Yeah, it's not done. Right. When people, yeah. I'm like, we're, we might be a little over half done. I I haven't even up pitted it with tools or anything because until we quit breaking the right. drivetrain, why add more weight? Right. Oh, I just ran out of diesel up here. I broke my shifter off inside. Uh, I was driving down the road coming into the park and the uh, front ram came loose and I lost my front uh, steering. Yeah. And so yeah, so you're still in shakedown. Oh yeah, yeah. Well, and that's the thing, uh, and I don't know if people realize this. This is kind of uncharted territory because it doesn't just have to be cool; it's got to work. Yes, mm -hmm. sir. Yeah. And that's and that's well, that's something that we run up against all the time because people are like, oh, I, I built the thing. I'm like, does it run now? Yeah. <laughs> right. Well, yeah. that's not the same, is it? Yeah. It's got to function. It's got to look cool. Lots yeah. of power. All right, folks. So we're getting rigged up. Getting ready. Some folks are already starting to pull. So, it's in so what you want to do is, he's going to pull it sideways. Okay? Uh -huh. So then when he's got it sideways and drags it back down here, when it's sideways, run your strap over and hook to the A and B pillar. Take off, flip it onto its roof, and then just skid it all the way to the end. That's a good idea. See? I'm just a fountain of good ideas. Or yeah. bad ideas, whatever you want. Like. <laughs> yeah, I don't, my uh, my driver probably won't like that very much. No? No. Why not? Might hurt a little bit. Oh, you don't need a driver in it if it's on the road. You don't need a driver in it if it's on the road. Just leave the driver I know, I'm kidding. Cybertruck's here. It is? Where's that? It's on paddles. It's on paddle tires? No. Cyber truck on freaking paddles? I think those things haul ass, don't they? Paddle tires? No. Cyber truck. Yeah, paddle tires. Paddle tires Where's haul you? ass. Somebody get your The first recovery we did was an F450 and he was pulling the car, he got stuck. Alan with Yankum said, Rick, go get this guy. So we ran out there, flipped Hellboy around there, hooked up to him, and I could already start to notice that Hellboy was smoking a little bit more and it was underpowered. And I think at that point, the CAC boot had a little rub spot in it from the serpentine belt prior to Sand Hollow. So that was the first time I really noticed it when I pulled the F450 out. <laughs> Wrecker Rick with his 2016 Ram 5500. Pulling out the big Yankum rope right there. We're getting it all hooked up. Using the soft shackles. Everybody's ready! Cheer them on, come on! Rick Murphy, Rick and Rick with Murphy's Diesel. Assisting on the recovery. This is what makes it fun right here. Are you ready for the yank? Here it comes! Wrecker pulls, folks. You know, never know what will happen. 
It's Western, folks. You gonna want to do tug war? Yeah. Like the or something? Yeah. Okay. Bro, that's it, man. I love that. I've been following you. you since I got here. Yeah. 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 Did really well. Yeah. I mean, you're the first one I saw, but it looked like you did really well. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You know what? We rolled it on a trailer and got it here. Did that you? was. This is. This is it. I ripped it through the sand yeah, yesterday, and then I ran out of fuel in the hill right here. You ran it out? Yeah. <laughs> set my fuel gauge up wrong. And, yeah. and we got up there waiting for my guy to bring the fuel for like two hours. And then we came tried the nitrous and pulled it in here. And I pulled some gold and stuff, and that was it. So. I'm right after you. Oh, yeah. You're right after him? Yeah, I get to watch what he does, and then just do it. All I got to do is that much better. Do you hear? Do you hear? If I don't break, I can pull you out. People are like, who's Rick? <laughs> who's Rick? And I'm like, oh, well, that's his truck right there. Which one? Well, you see the world's largest off-road wrecker? It's the one just a little bit bigger than it. <laughs> <laughs> I heard it. I heard it. I was walking so by. That's what I should say. Yeah. Bo both accurate. Yeah, awesome. All right. So we got to get this going. Don't underestimate this sand. That's all I'm saying. Yeah. What do you think about getting this record out? It sucks. Oh, there's enough, there's enough records here to pull out. Yanked on it like 10 times with Hellboy, three foot every time. Yeah, we'll hook a couple things up to pull it out. Yeah, that was... When it come time for us to do our pulls, uh, we were scrambling around trying to get the tires aired down. Don't underestimate how long it takes to air down a 58 inch tire, folks. I mean, we were literally, they were hustling us, right? Yeah. and pushing us because they were trying to move this along fast. We had to keep a schedule. So they're hustling us. We were literally all out there letting air out of the tires and they would not go down. Mark, I'm going to need you to steer the Suburban. Make you work, boy. to the the suburban mark was telling me i'm gonna make you work for it i didn't know he was gonna make me work that hard for it folks he had the wheels cranked he had the brakes set and he was just laying on it and actually hellboy you know stood up and took it like a man at first and soon as i hit the nitrous i hit the nitrous button and i just lost all power from then on is when i noticed that the tires would barely turn and I was just smoking the crowd out. And by the end of that, I just put it on the floor and let it try to eat.
Didn't work as well as I thought it was. Yeah, so when I was pulling on it, I hit the nitrous too much and, and it shut down. But it's getting hot too. I gotta figure out why it's getting hot. Well, other than it's not getting enough air. <laughs> how you start a great friendship, right? Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Right. Well, let's do it. Your truck is fairly new. Oh yeah, we Still rolled it off down? the trailer here. Really? Yeah, ripped it through the sand like, for 20 minutes, run it out of fuel on the hill, broke the shifter off. Nice. Knocked the ram off the front going down the road That's over there. Like My it. people. Yep. Yep. Whipped it across the sand, checked the nitrous, and then pulled in here. You sure you watched one of those sparks? <laughs> yeah. It might be a long lost brother of some yeah. sort. I probably adopted. Yeah, I guarantee it. What? Did we just become best friends? Yep. So I have a just my dad. incredible looking truck, dude. Like Thank you guys you. killed this. That's my style, obviously. Um, so how about a tug of war? Let's do it. Let's do it. Yeah. Let's go. I got it. Don't got my rope out here for nothing. <laughs> just so we're clear, I work for Dave, and I'm cheering for you guys. Okay. I'm on your team. My beard's bigger. Yeah, exactly. I, I'm also cheering. You want to be on their team or Dave's team? I think I am on their team. You're on their team. Good. But I'll be in that truck. My Rick is gonna be able to do that. So then we so then we hooked up ropes with uh, the boys at Sparks Motors and what I mean then that's when it really got smoky right yeah. I mean that's when well, that's all you, you can even see your truck you just see smoke yeah <laughs> yeah and it makes sense that's why I overheated is because I wasn't getting any air uh, from my turbos. Running all that fuel through that engine, it, it caused it to overheat because my EGTs were just skyrocketing because I was getting no air to the engine. And we hooked up and I just put it on the floor and held my nitrous button down. Prayed to God that I won.
awesome game of strategy and chess. Yeah, that was that was that worked worked down to waiting till the other guy pulls you backwards to get you out then, of the holes. And then you'd slingshot it. Yeah, and yeah. then you go. And then Catching wait for the other down. one. Yeah, it was just yeah. it was awesome. It was super cool to see some big trucks play with each other. came down to rather than just brute strength it came down to being strategic I would give him a little bump and get him out and then as soon as he'd back up I would go because I never got stuck because I didn't have enough power to get stuck so every time I would yank him out of his holes I would just he would start coming backwards and then I'd hit it again and then I'd pull him backwards and that's how I ended up winning I mean just you know strategically winning you know Next morning, we roll up there. The, they called us and asked us to come back. They wanted some more of Hellboy. That morning, we went back out there, told these guys, 
you know, we got to get this truck fixed. And Hot Rod came up with the solution to fix it. So, so we had the welding rig and uh, took the boot off of that and just put it on Hellboy. Yeah, and that worked out. I mean, uh, except for now we had a dead welding rig. Look at Caitlin. She has a cloud of absolute flat. All right, folks, so we blew an intercooler boot. So we gave Diesel Brothers a little handicap. We were at 25 pounds of air today. We got the intercooler boot fixed, and Hellboy's running a lot better. We got the tires aired down to 8 PSI, so let's see what happens today. You know, and I would like to add that uh, we rolled this truck off the trailer. That's a proven truck, Matt's is a proven truck. And here we are, just kicking some legends ass. So, stand by. Broke down, in case I need it. Oh, he's losing, sorry. There we go, look at that plane. That's gotta be 25 feet of plane. Uh, is there starting? Put it in the welding rig. Beat on the fiber truck. I have a settling if y'all want a settling. That's what we use. Yeah, I mean, we might need to be. Yeah. Time to nut up. Put some settling in. Yeah, well, we are. Anything makes a turn. You got gravity working in his favor. Right. Yeah, baby! That's how you do it. Need the prediction, Rick. Rain. <laughs> Cloudy with a chance of rain. We were just kind of ripping around, and you can tell. I mean, watch this part right here. you can tell a night and day difference from Friday to Saturday. Saturday, after we got that fixed, we started ripping around the arena and Brodozer came in again and Brodoz, and we knew we were having another tug of war. And we were, we were really stoked about that. Brodozer was just tearing the crap out of the car and running it over. And my experience with running over cars is I always ruin tires. SUV out of the way and the reason I was doing that is to give us more room because I was fixing to pull brodozer all over that arena folks. I had CAC boot fix, I had uh, bigger nozzles and I was sitting at like 8 PSI. It's a whole different ball game when I did that to that truck. It was it's night and day difference. You could tell in the video.
I thought the, the first bone. bump was free. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> not in Arizona. Well, I guess we're in Utah. Yeah. <laughs> All right, what do you think? Can we get this thing out? Oh, I'm, hopefully I, can, I don't destroy it getting it out. That's what I predict. What do y'all think? What do y'all think? What do y'all think? Can we do this? No! All right, no, come let's on, see what it. do you think? Yeah, you gonna get it! Oh, nobody? No, 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 what person thinks you're gonna get it? This is Murphy's Diesel right here. He's gonna pull the bro dogs around. Who wants to see it? That's what I thought! <laughs> I didn't even know anything was hooked to me. I thought I'd come unhooked. Step one, enter arena. Step two, blow tire on the car. Three, do donuts with Murphy's Diesel. We know all the checkpoints. And then you get to keep those out. Thanks. Thanks. It's an honor. It's an honor to be pulled out by Murphy's Diesel. Oh, yeah. It's an honor to pull Brodo's out. Wait till you get the bill. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, I gave him fake address. Yeah. <laughs> His phone number on the website anyway. <laughs> no. So I was staying away from the car because I didn't want to blow a tire out and then lose to a technicality. Because, I mean, it's all right for uh, Sparks Motors to, to leave like that because, I mean, those guys are legends. But me, if I would have blown a tire on the car and Heavy D would have been standing out there with his rope like, hey, Murphy's Diesel thought we were having a tug of war, then... You know, I would never hear the end of it. got the call we had to go hands called and hands said i need a hand murphy's diesel when they tore the tire on the car they called up they said hey we're over here in the sand uh can you all come give us a hand so hands calls you give them a hand right right <laughs> yes Jens, we'll have another one of these trucks laid around, all built, ready to go, right? I, I can't. <laughs> I can't. Are you in a hurry? Yeah. How, how, <laughs> how about you? Oh, Big Red got enough hump. Remember when he called it Big Red yesterday? <laughs> all right, this ain't time for smack boy on the rim. This is, oh, Big Red. <laughs> <laughs> I, was waiting, I was waiting for him just to slap them across the face. <laughs> Bang 
this side now? This side now. Yeah. Here, diesel can do it. I'm not doing diesel, man. <laughs> there it goes. One thing with axle techs, man, the rims like to stick on to them, so we had to pound that axle tech off. So, I mean, their jack ended up being useful. We ended up using it as a hammer, folks. I don't think we've ever used a spare on here. I think you're saving us twice in one day, man. <laughs> hey, Dave said this is how new friendships are made. <laughs> it definitely is. Very true. Just a uh, couple of rigs down by the beach, just doing their thing, huh? This is my father-in-law. How you doing, sir? Good, how are you, Bill? Nice to meet you. How are you doing? Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Yeah, I've been watching you since, like, video one. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah. That's awesome. Thank I should have introduced you to Dave a long time ago. You should have. Oh, yeah. For real. <laughs> I've been yeah. talking about it. Yeah. Yeah. Stars finally aligned. Yeah. Hell, yeah. yeah. Nice rig. Who would have thought they'd just take us breaking down for the Star Wars to line, though, you know? <laughs> <laughs> well, they had to. You got guys like us, huh? I know. I got to meet Diesel's family, so that was really cool. Uh, turns out they are actually uh, avid watchers of our channel. They're big supporters of our channel. So Since video one. He said he's been watching us since video one. So. Hey, good. good. Right, they said they're going to go rip the rip cyber truck around up there if we want to go. That's a bad day. Yeah. <laughs> Should we go play around, probably watch Sparks break the cyber truck and then figure out how to get it back down? Alright, All right, folks, we're heading up on the hill. We're going to follow the bro dozer. Down there, you guys stand up here playing or what? Yeah, we'll go down. Okay. So, uh, Heavy D was taking his cyber truck right through here. that up to the car that he ran over earlier. Yeah, that's what I'll, I'll tell everyone. The car we ran over earlier. <laughs> <laughs> Put it in the history books. These tires aren't terrible. So, Bro Dozer caught a rock right there on the front tire, blew another tire, and now his rear steer is not, not working right. So we're gonna, we tried bumping it over, we're gonna try pulling it over. Hey, you just hit it the other way. Same hey, thing right now. Hit it the hey, other way. Hit it the wrong way. Yeah. Let me yeah, do it the other way then. Hey, there you go. Look at it. Look at it. Try wiring it backwards. All great. 
Now we're not going to be able to go out the tunnel. Hey, is there any pliers in our truck? Pliers? Take one of the solenoids off and see if it'll have a pliers? As we were coming back from the top of the dunes up there, their rear steer got locked out and caused them to hit a rock, blow a tire. Luckily, I just happened to be there, and luckily, I just happened to put the same exact setup on Hellboy, so I, I got real familiar with the, the solenoid system. So as soon as that happened, we tried pulling it over, we went down a little bit, and it was just locked out. So I jumped up in the bed of their truck, bypassed the solenoid, got it working, got them straightened out, put it on a trailer, and they were out of there, so. Thank you for everything. Yeah. Appreciate you over. guys. Yes, sir, you bet. Love to come and help, but you know. Yeah. We're messing ourselves. Yeah, appreciate you guys. Appreciate thank you. you guys. Thank you. Thank you. Nice meeting you as well. Travel safe. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, sir. Appreciate it. Good to meet you. Thank you. Thank you. Let's do something too. together. All right. Yeah. Have some fun. All right. You guys have a safe trip. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. While we were helping Sparks Motors with a couple of recoveries. The award ceremony was going on so we actually come back from helping sparks motors and we pull into our booth up there and we're talking to some folks we're talking to some some fans and alan with yankum comes walking up and he's like hey rick where you been you won and he holds up this plaque and i had no idea that we won the people have spoken what can i say i'm a sleigh so look at that folks First place winner. I didn't even know it. <laughs> you left just a little early. It's all right. Yeah, I left early. I, I wasn't sure what was going on. So, hey, you know, I never said I was the smartest guy. So, hey, here's a gag gift. I just got, I just got a good truck. That's it. <laughs> that's, that's for the, the smoke that's blower. Hilarious. I wish I would have been on stage for that. <laughs> it was a good time. For all the smoke, folks. <laughs> don't want to get. Uh, what is it? Smoke ventilation? I could have passed off some of those yesterday. Yeah. Yeah, the crowd needed this more than I did. Mm -hmm. That's for sure. Huh. <laughs> now we need to go rip Hellboy around with this on, huh? Does it look good? Yeah. Can you tell? Huh? Is it noticeable on my face? No. It looks like it seals up really yeah. good with height. Right on, that's rad. Oh, congratulations. I knew I won. <laughs> now oh. <laughs> See that right there? Eat your hearts out, haters. First place.
I never knew it was hard. <laughs> That you makes me so you mad. Know you're giving a board <laughs> Yeah, Alan came walking up there. He's like, Rick, where were you? I'm like, Alan, where's the heads up? And he's like, you won. Oh, you, oh, that's what I can't remember. I'm like, I didn't have a memory of you being up there. Yeah, yeah, it was a blast. Was so, well, anyway, thank you guys for coming. I'm yes, sir. Put the stuff up, but. We're going to watch you closer. All right. All right. Thank, Thank you all you so much. Thank we you. really appreciate Thank it. Thank you for coming. Yeah, yeah. it was really nice. <laughs> Good to meet yeah. you. Yeah, I appreciate it. All right, folks. We've got War Machine air down. Now we're going to drive it out. Matt said air it down, drive it out. He said if we can't air it down and drive it out, then he will hook onto it along with the world's largest wrecker and help us, so. All right, 80,000 pounds on the sand, folks. It was stuck when we brought it in here. We had to use Hellboy to drag it in here. Give her a little rock. Give her, can I get a little rock? Come on, everybody, Come can on, I get everybody. a little rock? <laughs> okay. Come on, everybody, get a clap. Come on, everybody, get a clap. My tire spinning. Just like that, folks, Hellboy pulled her right out. <laughs> Don't worry, if it makes you feel better, I called it. We got a recovery! <laughs> well, if we can somehow leave tomorrow night, just so I can be home by the morning, that'd be fun. Just because you're on doesn't mean you can like that folks put her on the trailer so we had to load it on the trailer because we robbed an intercooler line an intercooler hose for Hellboy today and we're wheeling tomorrow so I don't want to put it back on this and drive it back to camp so I'm just gonna put it on the trailer <laughs> whatever it's called slide axle last day of sand hollow and we're gonna see if Hellboy fits through the tunnel because we want to go up there Check it out. So, stand by.
you air down? No, yeah, I should have though. Alright folks, we're going to take Black Batty up to the sand, sand hill up here, whatever they call it, I don't know. And uh, go rip it around in the sand a little bit, see how it does. Uh, we got Hellboy, Black Betty, De Niro's Tacoma, Gladys the Gladiator, and none of these are locked up except for Hellboy, so. Let's let's see what happens. Let's see if we could blow Hellboy up. I got a 200 shot of nitrous in it, and so we're gonna see what happens. What do we got here? Stuck? A little bit. <laughs> huh. Did you call Matt's off road? Daddy. Yeah, but I guess he's late. Where you at, Matt? <laughs> uh, sorry, I can't help you all out. This is Matt's territory. This is Matt's territory, folks. I'm unfortunately I'm gonna have to leave him here. So. Oh. Alright. Bye. Are you sure? Bye, Dad. Bye. I guess I'll, I guess I'll die. <laughs> I guess so. <laughs> no, Matt will be along shortly. So. Well, I'm, I'm sure he won't mind. Well, I guess I'm going to go ahead and take this one, Matt. Hope you don't mind. Team Money forgot to air her tires down, so she's going to go ahead and air them down now. It's at 33, and I've been sitting here for about two minutes already. All right, folks, well, we got them aired down, so hopefully she just drive her on out. And then uh, some other folks flagged me down up the way. We're going to go pull them out real quick. Hope you don't mind, Matt. I'm not trying to get into your pie, but put it in low. There you go. You got manhandle it sometimes. Well, I had it down there, but then I was flashing unavailable on the screen, so I had to go back up and go back down. All right. Oh, yeah. Funny how if you air down, how well it works. You'd think I'd, you know, learn after almost losing to Brodozer because I had 30 pounds of air in my tire. Well, I did have a blown intercooler boot too, so. Let's go get these other folks out, huh? Right through there. Y'all didn't, you all weren't here for the off-road games? No, we just came down to finish and then we just wanna hit the dunes for a minute. Yeah. And then we were gonna roll out of here, but <laughs> it's been a little more than a minute now. Dang, you're buried. Yeah. I just worry about pulling on the middle of this. I don't wanna bow it, you know? Yeah, I know what you're talking about. That's one thing I've never seen, folks. Wreck a Rick covered in orange sand digging under a car. Give it the beat! Buddy does not off-road like we do. Got her. All 
All right, you want to move your Jeep? Just like that, folks. Easy as pie. Thanks for letting us recover you. <laughs> Thank you. Yes, sir. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Nice meeting y'all. Yeah, nice yeah. meeting you too. What was your name again? Rick Murphy. Rick yeah. Murphy. Our channel is Murphy's Diesel. So Perfect. Cool. Thanks, man. Y'all want to check it out? Pay for it, they roll it. <laughs> it really stops you the moment you push the clutch in. Like, oh, yeah, right yeah. now. Yeah, and yeah, if you're on asphalt and you tap the brakes, I mean, it's like... Is it? Yeah. Yeah, real touchy. Have you have you rolled them yet? Flip one over? Yeah. Not these new ones. Hey, so whatever close. you do, don't stare at us while you get stuck. <laughs> I was waiting for you to leave. <laughs> Are you air down? What? Are you air down? We didn't even air down. Oh, that's why. Yeah. We just rolled out here. Yeah. We need to get you on the downhill. You're wanting to get out of here, right? Yeah. We need to get you on the downhill, huh? Bring Black Betty over here. They got it stuck one more time because we wanted to see how Black Betty would recover a Porsche out of the sand. <laughs> so that wasn't on purpose. We got it stuck on purpose again because we want to see how Black Betty will recover the same vehicle out of the sand. Which one's easier, Black Betty or Hellboy? Stand by. Alrighty, go. Cool. Well, sound good from here, huh? Yeah. You guys should go down that way and try to go up that hill and make it cross. Yeah. Yeah, this thing here got a little run out.
if it was sand, I'd jump. But. Take that back window a little like door. Yeah. Oh, look at that bush. <laughs> You're so slay, Dad. Oh my god, that scared me. Wow. <laughs> like a real action movie. <laughs> Yeah. Why don't we show the camera what's behind the scenes right here? <laughs> do, do go ahead, Trigan. Go ahead. <laughs> That's what I'm looking for in a cameraman. <laughs> Why am I surrounded by men in split? <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> what are you doing? Just trying to get the shot. Try. That's what you got to do to get the shot. Sometimes you got to get in awkward spots. <laughs> You know, we come up here, take some shots for winning the first place trophy. We wanted to make it good for y'all. So I was just getting in the pose. <laughs> what? That's what I'm looking for in a cameraman, folks. That's right. Oh my God. <laughs> oh, somebody help me. All right, folks. So it's been a pretty good weekend. We came away with a big W. Even though the first day we blew an intercooler boot, that's what all the smoke was about. Blew an intercooler boot, tires were aired up 30 PSI, still came away with the big W. Some of you might not think so, but here's what I, here's what I got to say to that. So first time to Sand Hollow, come in here, dominated. Did a couple recoveries. It's been a good weekend, one of the best weekends I've ever had. So, had a great time with my family, met a lot of cool folks, got to hang out with a lot of cool folks I never thought I'd hang out with. So, we're headed back to Arizona. You stay classy, Matt's Off Road Record Games. We'll see you next year, and Hellboy will be tuned in. So, stay tuned for that, folks.